I'm a junior at the University of Vermont, rising junior. This summer, I want to get a lot better at programming. Last summer was pretty insane. I worked full-time as a baker, and at the same time, I was lifting every day with my friend Charlie. There's this kid that worked at a baseball field, and every time we drove to the gym, we'd see this kid. And basically, his whole job was to tell people, you can't park down this road. And he was just like sitting in a chair by the road. And there were like these huge signs that just said no parking here. That's literally the kid's entire job. And every time we passed by this kid, we'd ask him, hey, kid, can we park down here? And he'd have to say no, obviously. And then we'd go, F damn it. And just like, you know, kind of make a big deal about it and then drive away. Every day, like clockwork, we were, we were lifting like six or seven days a week. It was like a big uh, two-hour ordeal every day. Consumed a lot of time that I wasn't programming. Il y a trois gars qui veulent se marier. Il y a trois gars qui veulent se marier. So dating this Chilean race car driver girl who, uh, I wish I had more pictures of her that wouldn't get me demonetized, but that was also cool for personal development, but not good for programming and also quite time consuming. This year, I'm traveling around a lot more. Right now, I'm picking up my sister from a study abroad program. So I'm, I'm traveling around Italy and then I'll go off to Greece where I'm working on a pottery dig, doing something kind of related to programming. And that should give me some more hard programming skills. After that, I'm headed back to Vermont for just a little while. And then I'm headed out to Milwaukee to work um, at uh, a company doing some engineering. But during this time, I've been working a lot more on programming skills I've been learning a lot more Lua. I want to like get quite good at Lua, get better at game development in Lua. I did a lot of game development kind of stuff this semester, but I want to really nail it down so I can make those little like animation things you see on like ADHD trap, watch until the end, you know, there's like bouncing balls and stuff. I just want to make little like things like that that I can put at the bottom of content because I might start some kind of automatic machine learning content farm. So I've been learning a lot of Lua. Now that I have this channel about Vim, I've been reading a lot more about Vim, trying to get better at general Unix stuff um, and just brush up on that in general, become a better programmer when it comes to uh, my environment, producing and making content. So I wanna be better at uh, video editing, photo editing. I've done a lot of Figma for the board game I'm working on, but I, I just wanna get better at all of it in general. And then the board game is a whole nother thing. We did a ton of work on it last uh, academic semester, and we fixed like a, so many rules problems. So it's a ton more playable than it was before, but I still am not exactly happy with where it is. There's some graphical changes that need to happen. And also my compiler is a little bit janky, like the card compiler that puts all the images together. It uses a lot of types, but it's, it's just kind of a thrown together thing. So I've been trying to clean that up, get graphics better for that. And then there's a whole stage of that, which might be late summer, depending, which is like logistics of production and ordering and um, creating a Kickstarter for it. There's like these custom game printing websites and you have to figure out, it's a bunch of operations research, which is something that's like directly relevant to applied math. So that should be a fun little journey on its own. There's also this other thing, um, working with these two doctors on kind of a part-time internship in vascular research, making an LLM trained on uh, PubMed data about veins. So that will start up at some point during the summer. I, would, I was doing that last semester a little bit, but a grant just came through to give funding to that. I've done a lot of uh, Langchain stuff, but I'm excited to get a deeper understanding of Langchain and agents. I just want to get better at automating AI tasks for churning out content. Not on this channel, but you know, just like making content farms in general. I made that polite rap caption thing, which was uh, which was quite fun to do, and I think has more potential. Like I was thinking about cutting up police body cam footage because it's free and easy to download in mass, and then like putting captions on it or somehow transforming it with AI in a way that would be interesting. But other than that, yeah, it's just like tons of travel, tons of um, animation with SVGs, tons of just random little side projects to learn things. I'm coding a lot every day, even though I'm traveling a lot. 
should be another pretty cool summer. There's a lot of unknowns yet because I've never been to Milwaukee, but life is interesting. Yeah, that's that's about it in terms of stuff I have to say. No uh, life lesson really for anyone watching for that regard. Just kind of my personal ramblings.